Bruno, Premier League season's upon us. How's pre-season gone in your eyes? It was very good. To be honest, it was very good. I think we we come in we come in with two, two big targets for this pre-season, and um, one of them is to to try to play in a different system. So um, we we are training in the different systems since, since day one, and um, after four or five weeks of work with everyone, we we are very happy. So. That was the most important thing, I think. And the strategy was that, was to, to challenge the players to play in a different system in the same way, maybe because, you know, sometimes, especially in the first weeks, can be boring because double sections and to, to and in these days, just with three weeks of only days. So we come with that idea, so to, to, to challenge the players to play in a different way and also to, to be more focused, so they start the, 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 the season in that, in that way. So we are happy and now um, I can feel it that, that the, the, our team can play in these two systems. So it gives us more and more solutions. In the first season we play in that system, we try to change a little bit our philosophy. Sometimes we play with two midfielders, sometimes with three, but most of the time with um, a line of five. And now we can we can change and we have the possibility to change and it is important because next next uh, season uh, also something new the five subs so it's important for us to manage the game to have opportunity to manage the game since the beginning during the games with substitutions and we we feel big confidence that now we can play in this in these two systems. Yeah, you mentioned the double sessions there. It's been a busy summer. Yours have. The weekends where you have two games is the thinking behind that just to sort of implement these ideas look it's, it's uh, every every manager they have, ever they have the own way to work this is my way so i prefer in the first two weeks just training and give some information especially when something new so the first two weeks it was about that and uh, and after that is to create uh to create um, scenarios for the team to grow up in training and provide them competition. That's why it is important to play games after games after games or after the, the, the five weeks of work, everyone have at least 90 minutes in their legs. That, that's why we, we did it where we were in Spain with four games in one week. And then when we were to Portugal, we, have, we played two games Saturday and, um, and Sunday. Obviously, this is your second pre-season at Wolves. Has there been particular areas that you've looked to build on after that successful first season? Look, every time that that when you when you look back, every time you want to grow up and learn what happened in last season, and uh, try to grow up and to improve. And if if you know um, the word I use when I come is not to make a revolution, but to do an evolution from what the work the, the work that Nuno did with the team and now it's my, my turn to understand what the, the team have uh, they can do good in a good way and the things they can improve and after with time I can give my input and I think we we did that since the first day we try to play uh, more with the ball you try to dominate more in the ball um, so that's that was the, the the big thing that we did last year um, when you look and the way we play and the, the way sometimes we create chances we did, maybe we deserve to score more goals, and we are working. That that's the other thing that we are working to. Okay, we need to have the ball. We need to manage the game. We need to control the game, but eyes on goal. And it was that two things that we are working since the first day. The new system and to look for the goal. To look for the goal. Change a little bit our exercise to put small goals, big goals with with um, with the goalkeepers. A lot of things that. The players don't forget that we need to score goals, we need to create chances and we need also to win confident about that because plenty of games that we can score goals, we didn't score, we can turn to game two hours, be more confident and we don't score and after we give chances for the opponent to score. So it was when you look back, it was that, that two things that we bring for this for this um, for this preseason and in the moment we we are we are happy because we score uh, good goals in the 
in these games who have a good um, good performance with uh, with this system and now it's uh, it's to start the real games and but uh, give us a, a good confidence that we we are we, we, we did a good a good preseason and looking ahead to this season it's going to be a little bit different with the world cup in, in november how much do you feel like the players have taken on board these ideas and, and they're ready for the challenges that lie ahead Okay, it will be different, and we we need to think a little bit about it. But the main point now is to how can we, and that's 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 the good things. And I'm happy after four weeks of work when the when the camp in Spain finished, I talked with my staff and and said, look, the the the, the three things that that we we think more in the beginning of the season was give opportunity for them to learn a different season, and we are happy about that. Um, put change a little bit our exercise to uh, put more goals, more goals, big goals uh, with goalkeepers, uh, with um, movements that can score goals, and we were happy uh, about that. And the other one is to start a week early, especially with players that spent six, seven, eight months without working with us. And uh, it was very important for uh, Johnny, for Pedro, because. They, they are doing a good a good preseason, and maybe one of the reasons for it, because we start early with seven eight players to um, to have time to work with them because we don't they, they don't work too much with us in the um, in the last preseason. So these three decisions were very important. And I, I was very happy after Spain because we we take the best we take the best decisions for three three situations. After we we went to Portugal, we play. Two, two games, and uh, it was I was very happy in the in the end. So first against Sporting, big team, and uh, a line of four against a line of five. Uh, Sporting created a, a lot of problems to us, and defensive we were secure, and offensive we controlled the game with the ball. We we scored one goal, and I think we deserve to to score more goals in the, in the, in the, in the first half. Second game. Big chance to to give minutes to to everyone and also uh, and also give opportunity for some of the kids and that we have and from our team on the 23 team. So look, when you look back for the work we did in the first few weeks, we are very confident that okay, the work that we did, they understand. Now it's to prepare game by game. When you talk about the emphasis on maybe scoring more goals and the attacking side of the game, having Pedro having a full preseason, having Morgan back from Sheffield United on loan, are they all sort of going to help towards that target? Of course, look, when the, 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 when, when that's our, our point is to, to have time because if you remember the, f the first, our, my, my first preseason with, with the team, I just have one week to work with them because they finished the, the, the competitions late, just not the Premier League, but the UEFA, UEFA Cup, they finished late. I take the decision to give uh, three weeks off to, to everyone because you know this long, long it's a long season and um, I just have uh, two weeks to work with them one week to play here our our first game here in the preseason and then we start the competition in, in the Leicester so don't have too much time but we, ch we try to change little things to look back and how can grow how can we improve the team what kind of evolution we did in the team. And it, it was very good, in my opinion. So, piece by piece, game by game, try to grow up in the, um, in the way I like to play, because I like to play with the ball. Everyone likes to play the ball, but you need to provide that, create scenarios and exercise and, uh, and create the culture to play more with the ball. To, to, and I, I think we, we, we did that. I think the first, the first step for my ideas to the team, we did that in the first... In the first uh, in the first season, now we need we need to improve. Now we need to improve, and the the thing that when we were in our early days and when we look back, why not change to to nine o four? And the nine o four means that we have one more man in the in the midfielder or a striker, depending the team you want to play. And with uh, with Morgan, with Daniel, with Pedro, uh, with Raúl. Uh, Wang, uh, um, so we have a lot of dynamics, and we have a lot of, uh, lot of dynamics. That, that's the most important thing after the system to look for what each player can give to us, and 
the way they link with with his teammates. So now we are looking a little bit on, on the right. Now we are playing with Morgan and um, and Johnny. Different that when we play with uh, uh, Podence or, or and Smedo or Trincão. So they, they are different. Try to understand the way Smedo likes to attack. Try to understand the way uh, pay, um, Johnny likes to attack. So this is the, the things that. That's why, for me, I used to say that, okay, we have the system, I will talk to the players about the position, what they can see when they are in the position. After that, it's their dynamics, if they feel, how they feel comfortable and to take the best that they want and the, to take the best that what they can give to, to, to the team. And at the other end of the pitch, we welcome Nathan Collins to the club. What made him the perfect fit for Wolves? Look, we are, we are in the moment that we... We need to understand what, what, and we are, we are, me, uh, Jeff, Scott, Matt Hobbs, we are, we are, we understand perfect where, the, what is the moment of, of, of Wolf. So in the same way that the things in the pitch can, can happen in the evolution way, here the team is, it's the same. So when you look for the team and you see, and when we saw uh, players, and it was important players like Saiz, uh, Marçal, uh, John Rudy, so we finish content and, and leave. We need to replace these players with uh, the, the best you can, the best, uh, at the best price. So that's why we have some targets, and the first target was some targets for other positions, and um, and we find for for uh, for the centre back, Collins, uh, because what he can give to us, the way he, he can. He can play in the line of four because he usually play in that system. I watch a lot of games when he play from Burnley with a line of four. I watch a lot of games then when he play for his national team with a line of five. So, and we come to the right uh, conclusion that the right price, the right player, the right uh, man to get involved in this in this environment because we have here in this rock locker room, in the, in this dressing room, we we have a good environment. We have good people. And we want to bring good people for inside the two-hour pack. And how well has he settled in? It was nice for him to be able to go to Spain and Portugal straight away with the group. Well, very important. That's why we, we make the camp also, because it's an opportunity for us to, to go aboard, to play with the different teams. But also there's a moment that we, we can stay together. So it was important for us. First week over there, just to training. I didn't spoke too much with him in the first week. So we have time to... to, to to create a relationship with, their, with, his, with his teammates. After that, we can start talking about later things, what we can expect for, from, from him. He start to play, so he giving good, good signs, and we are very happy. Day by day, it's getting better. The involvement with other players is better. And uh, look, but most important thing is when we talk with him for the first time, we see a big, um, big motivation to come and join us and to play for us. So, the way we look for him, okay, we find our guy, and but the way he spoke to us, we feel that good motivation to come. So, it was good for us. And the window stays open until the end of August. How busy do you expect the club to be between now and then? Look, we are working hard since the first day. So after one season, we still, we still have a lot of things to do because. Uh, I can see uh, the chairman is an ambitious man, me too, everyone in the club wants to grow up and we, we want to do this transition but not a, a rupture, it's a evolution. So we have a lot of players that did a lot in the past and they are still doing. Uh, some of them left the club and you need to, 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 to continue to improve the squad and we know. Um, what we want is every time to be prepared. And when you look back uh, for the, the, the first season and um, injuries, the way we start the, 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 the season with a uh, few players after COVID, after in the end. So we take a lot from 14, 15 players. And then when we go for the ninth month and the ninth month, it's it's important, it's important. It's important the way you start. It's important the way you finish. When you look for that, and we don't have players like uh, Nelson Smedo, Max, Ruben, Pudence, 
and um, and work with with some problems, and some of them with play a long season. So we feel that um, players out from injuries, players without a full energy to continue to give what they give in 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 nine months. So this is the kind of things we we need to learn. So create a squad. We need to be to be a big squad, but you need, need to be a comfortable squad that. Well, if the kind of things happen again, because it will happen, some injuries, some problems with COVID, we have plenty or enough players in our squad to take care. So this is the thing. This is the thing. So even now we start the preseason where, and we already have a problem with 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 Rahul, and we need to solve. So we need to solve with the players we have we have in our hands. So this is important thing. Prepare. We have one month to prepare because after that we don't have any opportunity to recruit players for us. It's a time to understand that if something go wrong, which kind of players, which kind of squad we build to be prepared for for anything. And you welcome some of the lads from the under 23s for pre-season. How impressive have you been with the players that the club are producing from the academy? Look, we we are working with with them since since the first day. So I know a lot of, of, of the players and, and I know a lot of the, the kind of work that our academy are doing, especially this team under 18 and under 33. They did a, a great season last year. The promotion for the under 33 team, it's very important for us because now it's more competitive and can be a good, a good challenge for us. Um, last season, we give a big chance to, to look and they did okay every time we play he played for us. Morgan was here. Uh, we think and it okay. We give him opportunity to grow up in a different environment. Now he's back, and we can see and you can see the big difference. So the main thing is to know to know the players and after to create a, a plan for each one. So uh, we are very happy. We are here. We are very happy with with the work that they are doing. Very happy they 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 are they, they, because we see the way they grew up during the season. And uh, let's see if uh, something happened with, because we need we need players like Max, we need players not like like Morgan in the dressing room to give um, the impact, and also the um, look. I'm, my path is from from the academy, so um, I'm here. I'm falling in love with Wolves for Overhampton. This is my team, and uh, but. We need to be honest. No one leaves the team like these kids do, like Max, like Morgan, like Luke, like Chem, because they grew up here. So it's imp very important for me. I have these people who love the club uh, inside here because this is values. This is the culture of the club, and uh, every time we cannot we cannot forget that. So if you have a chance to bring players, they can give you something, or they can grow up here. For me, I don't think twice, and I put uh, the kid working near the men's to become a man and more solid player. And just finally, how excited are you to see how your season and your players they compete in the in the Premier League coming ahead? Look, okay, that's 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 the big point, right? So we um, after Spain, we we me and my staff we were talking about we get uh, I'd see how the team play against now uh, Sporting because. We play on Aves. It was, it was, um, it was good. We play against Besiktas. Different challenge, more hard, and the players did a, a good performance. Sporting more hard than the other, the other ones, and the players did uh, did very well. So we are growing up, and uh, now the enthusiastic is that how the film, how, the, how, how our team goes and start to play uh, the real match. That match will, will count. So that's 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 the thing. That's our feeling during this week. We are preparing very well. Yesterday, good training. Today, the same. We have more days to prepare the game. But the most important thing is the way we are training, the way we are we are playing, and the confidence that for us, because I'm watching them every day, I want to transmit to my players because they are in the good moment. Thanks, William. Good luck. You're welcome. Thank you.